So in this video, um, I'm going to show you how you can get your uh, history from a E3 panel or S3 panel uh, using the laptop so you don't have to hit next, next, next to try to find your trouble logs. So basically, that's what the panel looks like. I have a cable coming out of it that's connected to it. It comes to my USB to serial converter. Um, I think you can get these pretty much anywhere it's Best Buy and so on and so forth. And uh, I've got my log, my key here that lets me log in with the software. So where we go at on this is you go up to Tools, then OTS E3, that option right there. And then once you go to it, you click on Connect then connect and then after you do that you come down to this uh, field right here and you type in P22 space 22 space 22 and you hit enter and as you can see it gives you level 2 pass uh, level 2 pass code so it gives you access to level 2 functionality and basically the uh, option that you want to use is command and you go event log so you can either print all logs like if you want to get since uh, last time it was deleted which may take a minute to download and then or print last 20 so if, if you only have something that you want recent then do the last 20 I did a print all and it took about 45 minutes for it to print all of it. So I, could, I wanted to clear out the history because these panels, they build up, build up, and build up. And it can cause issues if you let the history just keep building. So it's good to clean it out every now and then. And then once I, once I was able to download all the history printed on the thing, I clicked on that little icon right there. And it saved the session as a text file. And then I went in and uh, after that, I did commands, event log, and then I cleared the log. I think I had to be level four passcode to be able to do that. You might be able to do it with less code. I just went ahead and bumped up to level four. And level four, same way you put P and then the passcode in the bottom, so let's say if it was five, 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 it would put in P five, five, space, five, five, space, five, five, and then hit enter. And uh, that will log you into level four, if that was your level four password. So as you can see, we do a lot of different functionality with that. So now that I'm done, I hit connect, disconnect, and you see it says port closed. So I'm done here, so I'll close out the program, and unplug my key, and my serial converter. Please like and subscribe guys, and if there's anything you want to see in some of these videos, you know, I'll gladly post it. Uh, thank you.